Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's vlog, uh, we'll see how to renew the passport uh, in India. So, so first go to Google. So passport seva online. Go to passport seva online and click on the first link www.passportindia.gov.in and I will provide this link in the description too. So once we click on this link, so this is a COVID-19 advisory, so we can ignore this for now. So let's close this. So go to new registration. So we have to click on the new registration and make sure you are on Passport Seva website itself. So click on your registration and the register type is a passport office and uh, passport office, you can select your location. So I'm selecting Hyderabad and given name so go check your previous passport and check the given name on the passport so given name is the first names and the surname make sure the spelling there are no spelling mistakes And give the date of birth and then give the email ID make sure you are giving correct email ID uh, because you need to log in with the same. Do you want to use this login? Yes. So login ID looks like the email ID whatever I gave. It's not available. So we have to give something as a login ID. Let's see what we can give here. Okay, finally I got my login ID. Finally I got my login ID. Then let's give password. Make sure you are meeting the requirement of passport policy. Password policy. confirm the password uh, what is your first school mm, favorite color let's go with the favorite color and enter the display characters 973up so what are we doing currently so we are just registering a user actually that's all See, uh, registration confirmation. Thank you for registering on the Passport Saver portal. To activate your account, please click on the link in the email sent to your email ID. The link will be activated only till 17 5 2022. So, okay. So now we have to log in back to our email ID and we have to click on that link. So I logged into my Gmail account and I activated the link. So we just need to click on the link. So once we click on the link, so it will be getting activated. So once we activate it, then we have to go to the Passport Seva page and we have to log in with the login ID and password, which we create just now. So the passport, passport type, right? So applying a ratio of passport, ratio or renew is same. And the ratio of the specific reason is a valid expired within uh, three years or duty expiry. And the uh, type of application will be that call and the booklet is 36 pages. Then click on next. 
applicant details so give the given name surname based on your old passport gender and uh, have you ever used any other names no have you ever changed your name no date of birth give same as your old passport is the place of birth is out of india no place of uh, then place of birth i mean in the village town city give that and district state and marital status and citizenship of india by birth pan card if available voter card if available voter card if available so employment type will be private either your parent is a government servant no education um, qualification graduate and above is applicant eligible for non um, ecr category so if you completed 10th or above then you have to select yes and other card number if available yes then click on i agree then go to next and the family details give the family details father name surname mother name surname again based on your old passport give the same details uh, so present residential address to my gmail is your um, once i please your link present address is out of india so i gave the my login now, id and the password give the house address and i could success house number and the state name seva. village state district station the nearest police station and the pin code and the mobile number and uh, the telephone number both and the email id and is your permanent address available yes is your permanent address the same as the present address i selected as yes then click on next emergency contact information give those details you don't need to give an email id then click on next give your passport number based on your old passport date of issue date of expiry and place of issue and the file number will be there on back of the passport i mean at the address in the bottom side you will be seeing the file number give that file number and the details of your previous and current diplomatic official passport uh, details are not available never held the diplomatic and official passport and have you ever applied for the passport but not issued now then click on next and other details all these other details 1 2 3 4 5 5 will be no for the common people unless you have any criminal background or if you are deported from any other country or if you if you if you refuse or denied by the passport or or any or if you get any citizenship with another country then only you have to read everything and give yes but here typically for the common people it will be no so i selected no for everything and then next passport verification details so this is how your passport looks just cross check everything all the details whatever given here just cross check then click on uh, next then the proof of birth i am giving a uh, aadhar card and the proof of residential also i am giving aadhar card and what else we have mm driver's license within the issue submission applications so let's give aadhar card for both let's give aadhar card and after which showing that where your passport got okay we don't need to select this because our passport is not stolen and passport me seva sms service enrollment select yes okay i am selecting yes. so meaning i have to pay 50 rupees at the at the at the counter so this sms service is very good so we will be getting end to end all the notifications of the tracking of our passport click on yes then the enrollment of the service i agree for the sms reason the passport and agree the payment you can check with the enrollment of the service i agree the sms updates the passport safe and also agree to pay the charges for sms that would send to the passport office at the for the mobile and operation i we clicked already yes and i agree please read the declaration so please and today's date and i agree uh save my details and if you want you can review the application but i already reviewed the application and then i am submitting okay note minor applicants uh this is not for us okay let's submit the form here we submitted the form so your application form has been submitted successfully so the application form has been submitted successfully 
and your applicant reference number. So we have our applicant reference number. Yeah. So we just took the printout of our application. Typically, we don't need the printout of our application. Uh, we will have the receipt number, uh, the message, the, we'll get the message to our device. So we can take that SMS and we don't need to take any printout, but we, for the safer side, even we can take the printout too. So you have to select uh, your uh, applicant here. Just select that one and the payment, click on the payment and appointment. So payment schedule. So you have uh, will not be refunded, etc. Okay. So before that, again, we'll go back and we'll check the before paying we'll check whether the appointments are available or not okay efcp 6309 so let's make sure before we do the payment appointments are available or not okay i'm seeing this location okay let's go ahead Call that call that call that call that call that call 15th okay 27th is Nizambad can another okay so what we will do okay online payment shalom okay internet banking is be online payment credit card internet banking you pay online payment let's click on online, online payment and let's go to next step you have not taken any appointment next Schedule an appointment and here also we can see okay not available not available not available not. okay that call we can see that call 27th Nizambad Bengabed 15 Amit 15 Toli Chokhi Tirupati not available Hyderabad not available uh, okay looks like Karimnagar is a Karimnagar is a nearest one I mean uh, as per the date wise it looks like it's nearest let me select the current nugger so let's go ahead here uh, Toli Chokhi Hyderabad do, 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 do. Okay, what is the name of what is the name you are saying PSL Karim Nagar available 25th 5 so PSL K Karim Nagar 25th 05 2022 that is the nearest one I am seeing the dates available so I just Go ahead and I just wanted to select the Karim Nagar, so which is 25th. Karim Nagar 25th, PSLK Karim Nagar 25th, 5 2022. Let me select that and 5 B U W G Q H. Let's click on next. Payment once made or available, passport will be not refunded if the payment are successfully done. Please do not pay again. Please complete your transaction within five minutes. Total fee three thousand five hundred. So only fifteen hundred we'll be paying now, and rest two thousand we should pay at the counter. So total will be three thousand five hundred. Earliest appointment. Proceed or to proceed, click the payment and book the appointment. Okay, book and the payment okay this is the time earliest appointment is, we got the date or select any other appointment so for selecting any other that was the thing anyways so let's go ahead and pay and book the slot now so it, it redirected to SBI so once we do the payment then uh, our slot will be booked and uh, we are good so if you have any questions please let me know i'm happy to answer your questions and that's all guys please do subscribe and thanks for watching out my vlog